So the shark season for 2018, how was it? Um, it was okay without ever really being kind of good. Uh, I mean, they made the playoffs by the skin of their teeth. Had the players probably to do better. The coach has been there long enough to do better, but um, it was okay. Um, as I've kind of been asking you guys with the recent videos, let me know how the sound goes on this one. I'm back home. Uh, recording seems the ones at work have had a bit of a uh, kind of a high pitch uh, screeching sound um, so yeah let me know how this one goes if there's no screeching sound then it kind of narrows it down to work if there's still a screeching sound here then I guess there's something wrong with the microphone or perhaps my device so um, yeah let me know uh, how that goes for you guys have been hearing the screech so far and um, yeah that'll definitely help me narrow it down uh, so the sharks Finished the season with a record of 7 wins, 8 losses, and a draw. So one, if they'd converted that kind of draw into a um, a win, then they could have had a 50-50 record over the regular season, but not to be. So managed to make the playoffs with a, a slightly negative record, which is, um, I guess, just the way Super Rugby works. The minute there's, um, you know, 15 teams and 8 of them make the playoffs, so... The eighth team can can get him without a stellar record, that's for sure. Um, there were good things. The Sharks somehow managed to be the number one offloading team. Uh, that's largely thanks to Jean-Luc Dupreau, who was the number one offloading player. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed that the Sharks would have been the number one offloading team at the start of the season because head coach Rob Dupreau, um, the senior, uh, said that he's you know he's going to play traditional rugby. He's not going to be expensive. They're just going to do what it, what it means to win, even if it's ugly. And yet here they are, the number one offloading team. So, I mean, the other stats that I'll kind of go over kind of do link to what he said, but um, the offloading is just like an interesting quirk. They're number one for kicks uh, per game, kicks from hand. Uh, number two for kick meters. Uh, goal kicking was, was fourth. Rob Deprius uh, Jr. had a, a pretty good season with the boot. He was kicking at 81, while the team was kicking at 81%. Uh, they were the number one team for penalty goals and penalty goals attempted. So when other teams were going for touch, they were often taking the three. And when you've got a good goal kicker, you can afford to kind of do that. Uh, they were 15th for missed tackles. So tackling rate was obviously pretty good with the Sharks. 15th for advantage line conceded so when they were making those tackles uh it was 50 something percent so about half the time they were stopping the team from getting over the advantage line which is just very impressive for their defensive stats you kind of wonder why they finished eighth when you're reading these stats uh and penalties conceded they were 13th so there's heaps of good stuff going on here kicking when they need to getting penalties not missing tackles keeping the team the opposition down the right end of the field for them uh, so what's what's kind of wrong here? Well, they were 14th for for tries scored on average. Uh, for total tries over the regular season, they're 11th. But if you take that Crusaders game into account, which gives them an extra game on some other teams, uh, the quarterfinal, um, they're 14th average uh, tries per game. 15th for run meters. Now that kind of largely goes into the strategy. So if you're number one for, for kicks and number two for kick meters, makes sense that you're a bit lower on the run meters although the Chiefs have a lot of kick meters as well with Damian McKenzie but still managed to rack up a few run meters uh problem perhaps is they are 13th for going seven plus phases so if you are going to kick down the opposition end perhaps turn over a line out ball and then uh you know attack the opposition line you need to be able to build phases but 13th overall and to go with that second overall for errors a lot of those will be handling errors so not able to build phases too many errors i think this is kind of a bit telling for where the shark season was at and 12th for pick and drives um i mean if if you're going to play traditional you're going to kick the ball a lot i would have thought picking and driving would be kind of a large part of that more more so than offloads but it's on the flip side here so um not quite sure how that works but uh yeah, I would have thought that's a stat that perhaps would have been a bit higher for the Sharks. Um, like I said, uh, Jean-Luc Dupre was really good with his offloads. Kuo and Bosch and that boot of his. 
especially kickoff time, he's able to make that kick contestable is a very a very good skill for the Sharks. So that's another good point. Um, Robert Dupria Jr. and his points, like he was the number one uh, number one point scorer overall for the Super Rugby season, the regular season. So plenty of good points there. Um, what they did kind of lack in terms of players is that one big try scoring player. You know, the Waratahs have got Nairo Voro, the, the Hurricanes had Ben Lamb, the Crusaders had George Bridge. Like a lot of these teams, they had one player, even the Rebels, you know, Jack Maddox got nine tries, didn't make the playoffs. But a, a player who scored a lot of tries, around 10 or more tries, Sharks top try scorer was Lukanyo Am with five. Next was Kerwin Bosch with three. I mean, it does go to the fact that they didn't score that many tries overall, but they do seem to lack that one kind of big try scoring player who can make tries or um, or score tries himself. Um, also, Ron Botta has a, has a knack for conceding penalties at the wrong time. Uh, he's the captain, so I feel like uh, if he's going to be captain next season, um, he needs to kind of just clean up that aspect of his game. And that is one that you can do. The Jaguars kind of proved that this season with some of their players who perhaps in previous seasons have been a bit guilty of poor discipline. Yeah, Ron Borto needs to needs to clean up that aspect of his game because he can do great things and then he'll just give away a stupid penalty and you get really throwing your shoes at the TV kind of thing. Um, highlights of the season, obviously their results against New Zealand teams were good. Their tour of New Zealand, uh, they smashed the Blues 63 points to 40. I went to that game. It was pretty disheartening as a Blues fan. Uh, and then they went to play the Hurricanes away and they only lost by a point, 38-37. It was a heartbreaking last-minute loss. They should have won that game. Uh, they beat the Lions at home 31 points to 24 in round 17, which was a vital victory in terms of their season. So there were some good good games, uh, but there was a lack of consistency. Um, they lost both their games on the Aussie Tour to the Brumbies and the Rebels 24-17 and 46-14, so not great look. Uh, and they lost at home to the Bulls 40 points to 10, which was a real bad loss. The Bulls actually did the double over them this season. So, uh, yeah, and then they... Quarterfinal loss, 40 points to 10. After the way the semis and the final went, you can't give the Sharks too much grief for, for, for losing that. But um, on paper, it looked like the Sharks were one of the few teams because their style might be able to give the Crusaders trouble, but they were totally worked out by the Crusaders. Uh, for next season, there's there's some interesting guys kind of on contract and off contract. So Thomas Dutoy is still there. Oosthausen hopefully is back from injury. Aka van der Merwe. Rambot is still there. Look on your arm. And Kosi, all these guys are on contract. Couldn't find any news for the contracts for any of the Dupreas, including their dad. I did read one article that apparently Jean-Luc has signed on. But um, yeah, I guess it kind of remains to be seen. The Beast, Flip van der Volt. Couldn't find any news about these guys. So there, there do see, uh, seem to be some guys to be re-signed. All that's from Wikipedia, which is generally pretty accurate at, at getting the contract news, but not always. So if you guys have any updated news on any of those guys, do let me know. Um, but yeah, overall for the Sharks, it was okay, but it probably should have been better. Um, with that squad, they probably could have done better. All right, guys, uh, you, let, you let me know your thoughts on the Sharks uh, season. And um, if there's any screeching sound in this video, uh, let me know. And I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.